Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for July 12th of 2024 is titled Jones Emerson 1. So what do we see here? Well, this is an example of a planetary nebula. Now, what is a planetary nebula? Well, first of all, it has absolutely nothing to do with planets, although it may have looked like a forming planetary system through very early small telescopes. What we know that this is, is the end of a life of a star much like our own sun. So what happens at the end of a life of a star is that the core begins to contract. It runs out of fuel and the core contracts down. Now because of the physics involved when the core contracts the outer layers begin to expand and get larger and larger. So this will happen to our sun in five to six billion years. It will become much larger. It will turn into a red giant star. And that will have a very compact, dense core and very diffuse outer layers. And as it goes through the stages, it will become a red giant and then later a red supergiant as it goes through its final stages, getting even larger, eventually engulfing the entire inner solar system. Now, that's still a lot smaller than what we're seeing here. But you have to remember now most of the mass is concentrated into a planet size object at the center and the rest of the material very diffuse is scattered out across a large section of a solar system and any instabilities can then push that material out and expel it outward into space. So we end up going from one star to having two objects here. We have the planetary nebula which is the ring shaped object here. And then at the very center is the bluish hot white dwarf star. That is the core of the star that was originally present. So essentially we're seeing the two parts of it, the core which is going to be left behind, and the outer layers now that are glowing. Now why do the outer layers glow? They're not being heated directly from the star any longer, but they are being energized. That white dwarf is incredibly hot. It was once the core of the star with temperatures of hundreds of billions of degrees. And now exposed to space, of course it's cooled off, but it could still easily be 100,000 degrees, emitting lots of ultraviolet light. That's why our eyes see it as blue in color, because it's emitting a lot more blue light than red light. And that ultraviolet light will then energize the gases in that outer envelope as it expands outward and cause it to glow. So it's similar to what we see have seen in the past with an emission nebula, where a gas left over from star formation is energized by the ultraviolet light of those stars. Here we see something very much at the end of the life of a star where the, the core of the star, the extremely hot core, energizes the outer layers as they expand outward into space. So this is an example giving us a sneak peek at what our sun could look like to a distant astronomer looking back to our solar system in another six or seven billion years. So that was our picture of the day for July 12th of 2024. It was titled Jones Emerson 1. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture. So until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.